Hi everyone, James from PetSci.co.uk here, and today we're going to be talking about how you can calculate your dog's BMI. So what is BMI? Well, BMI stands for Body Mass Index, and it's a technique used in human medicine um, that's been around for quite a while to estimate a person's body fat, and it takes into account two factors, and that's the person's height, and the person's weight. Now to calculate BMI, you will need to do the person's weight or mass in kilograms divided by the person's height in meters squared and then that will give you a result from typically 18.5 to 25 and this is on a on a scale where anything less than 18.5 is considered underweight and anything greater than 25 is considered overweight with all values in between being considered normal and you can use this as a way to sort of predict any possible health issues relating to weight, such as um, a predisposition to heart attacks or, or similar issues. Uh, but obviously it's not without its shortcomings. For instance, it doesn't take into account lean muscle mass, or perhaps differences in people's frames that might mean one person is considered overweight, but they're actually a normal weight for their size. So, we can look at this in terms of dogs as well. So let's take a look at that. So when looking at dogs, we have to take into account that dogs are different. For example, some breeds are tiny, but even though they're tiny, they're still a normal weight, whereas some breeds are huge, <laughs> and even though they're huge, they're still a normal weight. See, with humans, generally speaking, different races included are all typically similar weights and heights. Um, but obviously, with dogs, it's different. So, what we need to take into account here is the differences between breeds. And we also need to take into account that with some breeds, there's larger sexual dimorphism, which is differences between males and females. Uh, we do see this a bit in humans, but in some dog breeds, it is quite exaggerated. So, when talking about BMI... The standard human scale from 18.5 to 25 can't be used. For example, a chihuahua, normal weight, would be considered 39 to 52. So perhaps a normal, normal weight chihuahua, at say 39, if we use the human scale for that, it'd come right off the charts and would actually come in as overweight even though it is in fact perfectly normal weight. So with that in mind, here at PetSite we've developed a dog BMI calculator and this is great because it takes into account those two important factors which were breed and sex. So this means when you fill in your dog's weight and height you're going to get a results page that's tailored to your breed. For instance, if you get back a value of 59, uh, if you choose a human calculator, this would actually say that your dog was overweight, whereas 59 may be perfectly normal for your breed. So that's why using a dog BMI calculator is, is better than using a human calculator to determine if your dog's underweight, overweight, or a normal weight. Um, it does have the same shortcomings as the human BMI calculator, which is um, it can't account for differences within a breed. Um, another factor to consider when using this is it only works for true breeds, um, so that is pedigree breeds. Mongrels, unfortunately, because of the wide variation between them, you can't accurately work out the... Um, underweight and overweight barriers as such, but it does make a good general estimate um, to work out if your dog is under or overweight. Um, for animals though, 
particularly dogs. You can use other methods to determine if they are overweight or underweight, and this is called the body condition score. So the body condition score is a way to identify through physical and visual examination if your dog is underweight, overweight or an ideal weight and in a similar manner to the BMI score it uses a value um, based on a scale from 1 through to 9 or in some instances 1 through to 5 and the middle value, so the 1 through 5 scale 3 or the 1 through 9 scale 4 or 5 uh, is the ideal weight and using this we can get a more accurate idea of whether a dog is underweight or overweight um, and it just helps to avoid the bias that you can sometimes get with the BMI calculator not to say that you can't use the BMI calculator to get a good estimate but this will give you a more accurate result um, so we're going to take a look at this in a little more detail on the next page. To figure out our dog's body condition score, we need to perform three checks, uh, the first of which is the rib check. To perform the rib check, you simply place your hands on your dog's rib cage and feel along the rib cage. Now in a normal dog, in an ideal weight dog, the ribs should just be able to be felt. Um, you should be able to feel this through the coat, and you should notice just a slight indentation after each rib. Whereas in an underweight dog, the ribs are going to be much more pronounced. And an overweight dog, you won't be able to feel the ribs at all. The next check is the profile check. And to perform the profile check, we need to be looking at our dog from this angle. Now what we're looking for is that the abdomen is tucked in just behind the rib cage, like this. What you'll notice in an underweight dog is that the abdomen tucks in even further, and in an overweight dog, the abdomen won't tuck in, or may even bulge out like so. The final check is the overhead check. And to do this one, we'll need to be looking at the dog from this angle. Now what we want to be able to see is a waist behind the ribs here. You should notice that the dog has an hourglass figure. Exaggerated here, but you, you can see that the, um, the abdomen goes in behind the ribs and then back out again, like that. Um, Similarly to the profile check, an underweight dog, this will be much more pronounced. And an overweight dog will just be broad like this, or may even again bulge out slightly. So I hope today I've been able to show you the differences between BMI and the body condition score, which one's right, how they work, and whether or not it's suitable for you to, you know, figure if your dog is under or overweight. Um, like I said earlier, the BMI calculator, it's a good estimate, but it's not accurate, but the estimate is good enough in most cases, um, as long as your dog breed is true bred. Um, so in, in those cases where it's not, or if you want a more accurate uh, a more accurate determination of whether your dog's under or overweight, you might want to use the body condition score. Um, so, if you want, you can take a look on PetSci, www.petsci.co.uk, and you'll be able to find the BMI calculator under the tools section at the top. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching today, and don't forget to subscribe if you've enjoyed. Click there. And if you want to download that body condition score chart so you can use it at home, um, I'll put a link to that there for you. Uh, thanks again. I've been James from Petside. Thank you.